Today, it's not sad, but true. We're reviewing Blackened. Let's get into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Brad's Forever Reviews. I'm Brad, and today we're reviewing Black and Cash Drink, which is the whiskey that Metallica makes or is partnered with to make. They don't actually make anything. They do have their barrels aged to Metallica songs. And if you look on the neck of every bottle, you'll see a batch number. Batch 132 is this batch. This happens to be. This is an ABC store pick uh, of Black and Cash Drink. Uh, but I bring that up because if you go on Spotify and you can look up the batch number, it'll show you what playlist was used to age the whiskey. It's sonic aging. Now, 100% transparency, it's a gimmick, 100%. Uh, my friend Tom is probably r ripping his hair out. He's the biggest Metallica fan I know. I have had this before. This bottle's opened. I've had several blackened products. I like everything I've had. It's decent whiskey. Is it going to... Change your life? No. Is it really solid? Yeah. This barrel pick is really good. I was actually really impressed by it. I've had the Seven Two Seasons one. I've had uh, the Blackened. Ba uh, the uh, I'm sorry, the Black Album batch. I've had some other batch that Tom has had. He's had several. So I'm excited to do a proper review of this because if you can see, we put a dent in this bottle. We opened this on my uh, Star Wars podcast I do called Jedi Talk with one of our guests who was a bartender on the Galactic Star Cruiser. And we had a good old time, and I was impressed with this. I actually really, really liked it. I do remember a pretty predominant butterscotch note, but I'm excited to get it into this. So let's go ahead and let's give Black in the respect it deserves and give it a proper noting. Oh, yeah. Toffee, butterscotch. Also, this cash strength comes in at 118 proof. And I will tell you this I'm doing kind of back to back reviews. Um, I just recorded a few minutes ago the Maker's Mark cast strength, and they're within eight proof points of each other. Uh, less than that. They're within seven proof points of each other. Uh, eight proof points, something like that. And this on the nose is way more pleasant, way more complex, and it is just more vibrant, and there's more to it. I get toffee and butterscotch, like straight up and some caramel. It actually almost has like a uh, like a chocolate brownie note to it. Like with those smells combined, it kind of smells like a chocolate brownie. <sighs> and there's that butterscotch too. Man, that smells really good. I really like this. I might have to try a few other cash drinks of Blackened because this is really good. I think I've since I've had you know regular Blackened before, I, I really think this is just much better. These are finished in uh, black brandy casks, by the way. So it's uh, straight whiskey finished in brandy casks. That's pretty much like it on the nose. I will say, now to be fair, I'm a little congested still, but I don't really get any ethanol burn. And I guess I did on the on, on the Maker's Mark, so I guess I would feel it if there was. I don't get it at all. All right, let's give it a mouthing and let's see how we feel. That is so good. That is so good. Now, is this going to like be bottle of the year contender? No. So when I say it's so good, like don't think that I'm just being, oh, that's, that's really good. I'm not overblowing it. It is just a solid bottle. There's a really predominant walnut note. I usually say pecan, but that was like a walnut on the finish. It's super rich. It drinks hotter. It drinks hotter uh, than it than it is on the on the nose. I will say that that's pretty aggressive on the palate. Uh, it's pretty harsh on the back end of the finish, I should say. It is really good though. Super oaky. That chocolate note does kind of carry over, but in a different way. It doesn't taste like a chocolate brownie. It kind of tastes like cocoa powder. Um, that's really good. Uh, I would say if you can get your hands on this, do it. But if you don't live in the Orlando area and you didn't buy this like four months ago, you're probably not going to get your hands on it. But if you do happen to have this bottle, uh, batch 132, there's not a bottle number or anything like that. Um, I don't even know if it's a single barrel pick, but who knows? No, I'm blended. Um, it's good. I, it's not going to blow anyone's socks off, but it's a pretty solid bottle. So I, I can't speak for all of the black and cast drinks. I'd recommend it. Yeah, I think this is one of the one of the few celebrity whiskeys where uh, it, a it makes sense and b 
it's like actually good. So, you know, I, this isn't one of those things I think, you know, uh, I'm trying to, I don't want to, I don't want to mock anyone's celebrity whiskey, but there are some brands out there where you're like, okay, whatever, this makes sense and it's really good. So comment down below. Let me know if you've ever had black and cast drink before. Let me know what you think. Is it something that you even care to try if you haven't tried it? While you're down there, leave a like. Also subscribe. We are really close to a thousand subscribers. We're only like 300 away at this point. So please go ahead and do that for me. That'd be very kind of you to do so. And I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, cheers.